month before the game had even been released, Future Lab made a bold claim that Velocity 2X is the game of the year. To my delight and amusement, I'm glad to report that Velocity 2X meets the high bar they set for themselves. Future Lab has made a game that rivals the likes of Housemark's Resogun for best arcade game on PlayStation consoles. As in any arcade title, gameplay is the key component in making an excellent game. Luckily, Velocity 2X makes major improvements in the Velocity formula while keeping the core of the title untouched. Future Lab knows if it ain't broke, don't fix it. The previous game, Velocity Ultra, has been praised by nearly all critics for its fast-paced, high-octane space fights. However, instead of focusing solely on space gameplay, half of all levels are spent on foot in side-scrolling segments. While Velocity 2X nails gameplay, the inclusion of the long-form teleport does considerable damage to every stage after level 17. The mechanic tends to substantially break up the momentum of the player. Often players aren't given any direction about which path to take first, making the formula more trial and error than skill-based. To make it worse, when told to toss telepods through obstacles, the throwing mechanic seems hit or miss. While most of these issues are alleviated with subsequent playthroughs, it's a minor blight on an otherwise pristine system. Thanks to the heroine Kaitana's ability to teleport and sprint, each side-scrolling segment is just as speed-based as the space missions. What's even better is that all transitions between modes are seamless. While players will constantly feel frustrated by the game, it will never be due to the rock-solid gameplay. What exactly do I mean that this game generates frustration? Let me put it plainly. Within the 8 hours I've played, I had reset stages 440 times. While the game isn't hard to complete if you're shooting for minimum requirements, Velocity 2X encourages you to aim for higher scores and rankings on each level. In order to land a perfect rating, players have to save every ally, destroy every object in the level, collect every Rakenium shard, and get through the level in breakneck speeds, all without losing a single life. However, don't be discouraged. This is a good type of frustration. The game is accessible and beatable to anyone, however poses a much deeper challenge to those looking to take it. Apart from the gameplay, Future Lab's new focus on the female protagonist is refreshing. While I couldn't tell you anything about Velocity Ultra's story, I'm going to be hard-pressed to forget Kai's gung-ho, violence-oriented attitude. While the game helped to add some comedic breaks in between the action, a more sensual plotline would help elevate the title. The verdict is an 8.8 .8 out of 10. While many AAA behemoths loom on the horizon, Velocity 2X stands as a nominee for Game of the Year. Future Lab has managed to expertly merge classic Velocity gameplay with new side-scrolling elements to make one of the tightest arcade games for this or any generation. While there are some very minor issues with the formula and controls, the sheer value and addictive nature behind Velocity 2X marks it as the last great summer hit for this year. For more on Velocity 2X and the full review, check out Middle of Nowhere Gaming.